Evening guys, how are we doing? <coughs> so, hello to YouTube and Facebook. Oh, I've got sound on here. Turn that off. There you go. So, who we got so far? Apple, how you doing, pal? No worries. Cooking while you're watching in and out. No worries, pal. Evening, Jamesy boy. Welcome. And um, Paul, Elegant Infusions. How you doing, chap? Yeah, it's wet here too, pal. It was sunny for a while, but it's um, miserable now. So back on the old turf, it's now I had a slight issue. I shall uh, tell you. <laughs> so I was building a shelf at the back there, and uh, I knocked over the turf pits. So there was a few bits broke off. Nothing too major, um, but it's gluing them back on again. Hopefully it's all right now. Seems to be holding. Just glue in and, and trying to repair it. <laughs> um, it went straight over on its on the floor, hit the floor with a crunch, and uh, so turpit's got a bit battle damaged. But it's all right now <laughs> as it is uh, all right Ben how you doing pal yeah so hi Ron how you doing pal all right so I've got a little pot of paint here holding up the crane again after I broke the crane last time see it's just holding up that crane there in position while it's drying this bit here broke off uh, this bit here broke off and there's a dome thing that goes here on here that's broke off but nothing that can't be glued again so no major damage but it, it proper flipped over and hit the ground with a clunk so um, not clever but it is what it is so I'm going to be airbrushing a little bit again the grey get the base grey on. Last week I sprayed these, the guns, these guns here, and I wasn't sure of the grey. Well, when it dried and I gave it a varnish, it's the wrong grey. So I looked back on the, I looked back on the older YouTube videos of when I started building this. And I found out which greys I did use, which I should have really just done in the first place, and that would have made life a little bit easier. So now I know what greys I'm using. I've got the two bottles sitting right here, so I don't make a mistake again. So happy days. So we'll give these a quick blast, and then we'll see how the little Ardo thingamajig's doing. Oh. There you go. So I'm just going to clamp these up quick. Give my coat of the right grey, instead of the wrong grey. It always helps when you use the right colour. So I was using medium gunship grey and it's really dark sea grey I was using so it is what it is all good but I don't think the be action well, I don't think it's done before <laughs> yeah it's um it'll be fine it's just, you see when it hit the ground and everything, I'm like, oh no! And bits of plastic flew around. But I managed to find them. And I saw what had fell off and where it had fell off and all that, so happy days. Right, get some kitchen roll for this airbrush. Like so. On the airbrush there as well. Don't know that drop. Yeah. 
Jays. A little bit of cleaner and whatnot. Ready. Sorted. So, I'm just dark skin grey, yeah. I was just double checking, make sure I've got the right one again. Really don't want to go through that again. I don't mind the little boats being a different grey. That I can live with. But the main guns and everything else, it's got to be the right grey. So, happy days. That's better. Nice start, grey. You're going to see the difference now and you'll go, eh. So I'm just at 8 PSI like usual. much in it to be fair but there is a difference that's the, the two so that's the one it should be so it wasn't far off but far enough if you know what I mean <clears throat> pop that somewhere for a minute might take many minutes for that to dry batter into all of these hopefully we'll get some of the other camo colours on it as well then so it won't take long to dry and crannies. Oh, so hopefully everyone's been keeping well and doing all right. I had a delivery early this morning at the shop. <coughs> I got to the shop. I don't open till 10, but I'm in early anyway. And I got in just before half eight and the FedEx van was sitting there on opposite opposite the shop and there's no driver there and I'm like oh well. then it's uh, the driver come over he was in the baker's and he says Fred I knew you were going to be in just shortly so I thought I'd just hang about and wait for you so that was an airfix delivery And he knew I wanted it in a hurry, so happy days. That was nice of him. And he said if I weren't open, he'd have just took it to my house. So that's handy. It's nice to know some of the couriers out there do pay attention. And save you having to redirect or miss a delivery. So hats off to the guys at FedEx. Or that chap anyway because he uses his head which not many of them do that was the sea kings and the black buck vulcans and the ferrets that came <coughs>
There we go. So that's them all painted up. By the time I've cleaned the airbrush, the first one will be dry. Didn't use much paint either. So, happy days. I think you should leave that pink pool, that car you're building. That's for sure. I'd just varnish it and leave it pink. I saw some others on Twitter agreeing, saying the same thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Happy days. Can't run over time today because I've got some. I've got a uh, measure up for roller blinds for my sister-in-law. So, right, let's just bring this back over for a minute. So that bit I've glued on is all right where I fixed it. So I've just got to put on a searchlight bit that goes on here and glue that back on. And then we're back to where we was before I dropped it. And that goes on there somehow. Like that, I think. This is where it's going to be a bit of an issue without dropping it again. Just put a bit of Tamiya glue in there and a little puddle. Pop that back on. Oh, a little bit fiddly in there now. It was easier when it weren't all assembled. Yeah, just hold that a minute. Keep my finger on it a minute. Uh, I'll be doing the seeking on my YouTube channel. Cool. Unfortunately, when most people do their YouTubes, I'm at work. Or I'm doing the club or whatever. Uh, just never ending, really. But it'll be good to see. It's an awesome kit. That's for sure. And that's not going to want to stay there. Being a bit of a monster. There was another word I wanted to use, but you never know how young some people are watching. Hopefully that will stay there. Yep. Stayed on, so. Happy days. Yeah. So after our little crash landing and everything getting smashed, we're all back to where we should be on the looks of it. Now we can have a look at these guns and see what the crack is. Because I think some of it has a bit of camo on it. 
Trying to work out what one goes where again. So that one goes near the, the propeller. One of these biggies here, this one here. Apparently, goes on there, like that. So, there is a slight light grey camo on that, which is going to be joyous, to say the least. And this side is even worse. Oh my gosh. Right. <clears throat> so for that gun, there, as you can see, this bit here is light grey. So I've got to bring that up across there to there and then do that gun. And then the other side is even worse. Because... The other side, you can see that it's got that little, uh, there, that little triangle just coming across it. So I've got to bring that up across there and do that. Delightful. <coughs> so, how am I going to go about that? Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the front gun on as well. That is the front one actually. Before I start making too many mistakes. Come on, there you go. There you go. So that one goes there, sorry. And then I'm trying to think which one goes in front of it. I'm going to have to look at the rest of the instructions here. Let me just have a quick bitches. Right. Make sure I get this right. So, that one there. Right here, so they both go there. There's two of them. All the same. That one goes there, that one goes there. this side that one there and then I'm going to tow it it's an ISO with the big guns on there so I've just got to play around with all them camo angles now. That one's going to be a nightmare too. Up this end. But there you go. So that's where they're going to go. Hmm. Camo. Line wise, going right across that back edge there, and that whole side's light grey. Right, masking tape. These are standard stuff, first thing. Try and get me lines right. 
on the gun. That's the joys, huh? So I'm going to put it there and I'm going to just lean down and look at it, get the angle. I've got bloody boxes everywhere. Right, so. I'm going to be across there. Right, so it's just that end. It's literally the last little bit of that that gum, believe it or not. Right. The joys, huh? So, <laughs> that's it. Just that little tiny bit. And then I'll just double check that. Make sure my angle's right. That seems about right. Yep, and then this one, just lay around a little here, this one is about there, like that. light grey I think I'll do that light grey first and then I'll turn it round in a minute once it's dry how was the Murrayfield last weekend oh yes yeah um, it was brilliant Cheers pal, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, no, it was um it was an awesome show. It was great, uh just great fun, you know. The guys are great. I was a bit hungover, as always. Um I'd sunk a fair bit at night the night before. And uh but it was a brilliant show, yeah, it was a great turnout. Loads of people. Nice to see everyone again. As it always is. And uh, it was good fun. So, happy days. It's not very good this way of doing modelling, by the way. At this mad angle. Right. What I'm gonna do because it is slightly on this as well. Just bring that over like that. Trying to get that angle, but yeah, no, it was a good fun. Nice to see everyone. And business-wise, yeah, I mean we done well. We done as good as we did last year, which you can't ask for more than that. So happy days, right? Hmm. This is going to get awkward. It's going to get really awkward because not only have we got that bit, we've also got a bit on this here. I 
And obviously I don't want any on the deck. I don't want overspray on the deck, so I need to protect that. And then protect the top. Yeah, the hungover bit was a bit poofed, if you know what I mean. My head was a bit bursting. But it was great because the organisers looked at me and went, there's a bacon roll over there, Fred. You kind of guessed that you might be on it last night. <laughs> Thank you very much. Happy days. So even the organisers know how bad I am. So I'm just trying to protect this deck a little bit. Needless to say, we was invited for next year. So all good fun. Right, I need to pull that off a minute. I'm trying to protect this steel deck. <coughs> I need the circle of it sprayed. But I don't want the steel deck sprayed, so I'm kind of just messing about a little bit here for a second. This is the trouble when you, you get people say, I want you to airbrush it without brush painting. With brush painting, I'd have been out of deal with that really quick and easy. But airbrushing makes it a little bit more complicated. Which is why you got me to airbrush it all, no doubt. <clears throat> I'll do that. That's all right. I need to love all this. Airbrushing is fun, but it can become a real pain when you're trying to do this lark. ready for that now. over onto the deck. I'm just going to protect the back there as well. And that will stop the guns moving too much at all. Yeah. Right. Looks crazy. But So we've got some crazy, stupid mask in here to get that light grey bit. <coughs> Hopefully I've got it right. If not, it's easy enough to sort. Just going to turn the 
nozzle size down a little. I've got a bit more control. lid on the paint paint out the way Just done the wheels with that primer. Cool. Hopefully, this looks all right. I'm going to jump over this end now. Nothing I can't touch up afterwards. So. I think we've done that a lot last time I was touching up here and there. I'm going to put this bit of masking on this gun here. Hey guys, the barrels on this gun are also in the grey. Let's see what this looks like. And hopefully, fingers crossed. So the next show for us is Kinloss at the museum. And then the 21st at Belly Houston, Glasgow. And then that's it for trading at shows. And then it's Telford to see Ben and everybody else that I know in November. But that's a chill one. I don't trade at that. Mainly because it's too far away for us to take the van. It's just too much headache. And after all the shows this year and the shop, it's nice just to... Let your hair down, as they say, even though I haven't got any. And catch up with friends and just enjoy it. There we go. Happy days. So, in theory now, if I take this off. I tell you, this build with this camo lock is used so much masking, as you probably remembered. It's craziness. Get all this off. It's certainly easier doing this lark with a paintbrush rather than an airbrush, that's for sure. 
See what it looks like. That one goes on there. Come on. Now. Put that one on there. Hmm. That looks like a different grey again. Not good. Maybe it changes colour when it's varnished. But you probably can't see it in this light, but it is a slightly different colour to the darker one. You can see there, it's uh, light here, and then obviously dark right on the back corner. And same on here, it's light here, and then darker on the actual guns. Keep that line going on there, and the same on here. We've got the line coming up now, up here and onto the guns from that line there and then the same over here uh, here we've got the line coming up onto the gun and then that bit's light so. <coughs> the dark grey will look darker once it's Uh, it will go darker anyway once it's been varnished and stuff like that. It tones it down and changes it slightly. But at least we've got our angles on there now. And I'm quite happy with that how it is on that side. That side I'm happy with. However, this side is going to be an absolute nightmare because just there here look at these wonderful lines I've got here that I've got to try and tally up onto the gun and then that little fine line there that's got to come across onto the gun barrel itself there and then the joyous markings there here I've got to bring that up and spray that one and then this one across and so on so we'll get that it's trying to do it without breaking the damn thing after dropping it like I did which is annoying I think what I will do is now I've done that side and now I've got this awkward side here is I might have a look at these little guns little dinky ones that I done that one's the wrong grey these ones here were not it these little blighters here and I think I might pop them on because they are dark grey and there's no messing about to be goes there that one goes on there I'll have it facing that way all right Tim hey Fred look like you're keeping well pal different gray not everything was painted perfect it was war it was war after all true enough 
There's probably loads of different greys on it. <clears throat> Slight shade differences, colour mixes, running out, mixing their own, etc. So I don't doubt that at all. You know, I'm pretty much giving it that kind of attitude to be honest. I'm trying to get it as close as I can. But like you say, different greys and that break it up a little. But it's still nice to try and get the camo bit right at least. Like I say on the little boats it's a slightly different grey just to break the grey up. But it's good to see you, Tim. It's been a while, pal. That goes on there. And then we just got to sort this one out that I'd done wrong. I'll quickly sort that now. Because it won't take many minutes to dry. Funny enough, I dropped my Orc encampment and spent over an hour checking under my spare bed for all the bits, which I found. I'm thinking it was worth rebuilding or making a wreck by Shellfire. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't believe it. It was sitting there on one of the chairs across this side there. And I put the shelf up and just knocked it and it just went crunch straight onto the floor. And it's a concrete floor. Bits went everywhere. It's been a while for sure, but trying to keep up with what you're up to. Looks like you've been busy. Yeah, just a tad, pal. Yeah. And of course, Millhouse keeps me busy too. Millhouse is a friend at my club. He looks like Millhouse, so we called him Millhouse. And he didn't know who Millhouse was. So we had to explain to him about the Simpsons. And he went home and asked his son and his son explained to him, laughed and said, you do look like him. And then now, Millhouse has had, or Andy, his proper name is, he's um, got his profile picture as Millhouse because he thought it was so funny. <laughs> Happy days. It's a bit like the book in this place. I've got like 50 shades of grey. So. You can certainly have fun with grey paint. I used it on my hair and my beard. That's how I end up like this. So, that's that bit. That's nearly dry. Now that bit broke off. So I'm gonna need to drill that hole again. There's my little drill. My little drill around here somewhere. I really should clean my bench up, that's what I should do. There you go, there's a pin drill. I'm just going to re drill that hole like that. Um, I'll be able to answer your question in a minute Paul because I still have this lovely red heart in the chat bit that I can't get rid of and unfortunately it gets completely in the way of the, the last comment on the chat 
So until somebody else starts talking and whatnot and the chat moves up, I can't actually read it, unfortunately. I'm assuming he's saying, do I use a spray booth? I do, and it's over there, but not when I'm live, because it's not feasible. For me to keep moving cameras and stuff like that. Yeah. Happy days. Someone sending me messages. Let me see what that is. One person with some mad TikTok thing. Do you have a price on seeking? Uh, yeah. But I'm live, so I'm not going to do that. And if you're watching mine, how can I answer when I'm live? So, we have our little guns on there anyway. On the side there now. All pointing that way. Luckily, there's no camo really on any of them. It just misses it really. So I've got away with that. On that side. There's just the big guns on this side to mess about with. But at 48 minutes past, there's no point in me doing that. So I'm just going to glue these big guns in so I can manage with them on. And then next week they won't move around so much and I'll mask it and we'll do the other side. <coughs> Make sure my guns are level. So at least we're fixed up. And we've got some of the camo on there. So I'm pleased with that. Next week we'll get on with that other awkward side. And so forth. But it's coming together. There's there's not there is a lot more little tiny guns that dot around all over the place. Um but it's certainly getting to that position where we're starting to look the part. And then I'll have that horrible rigging to do, which will be joyous. <coughs> there we go, that's where we're at so far. The camera on it all the way to the end. We've still got the rotor propeller, uh, yeah, the propeller. propeller. 
whatever you want to call it. Thing that makes the boat move. <laughs> so hopefully I won't drop it this week and it will still be in good shape next week. Yeah, it's open. Got that down there out of the way. What we got? Nine minutes. So that's really what I've got left. Not a lot. All little tiny guns. But depending on where they go, depends on what colour they are. You've got some medium ones there, or whatever they are. You can tell I'm not nautical wise. Not, in, not into the boats as such. No. We've got definitely more guns here. Big sheet of them. Yeah. We've got all these little delightful babies here. Obviously a lot smaller guns than what the other ones were. And then we've got even smaller. Again. Which is just madness. It must have had some armament on this thing. Because there's some tiny little double guns there as well. So we've still got plenty of joyful fun messing about before I get onto the rigging. And of course we've got all our little boats as well here. They all need to go on. These are delicate little things these. They are tiny. You remember right at the beginning I stuck them all onto here when I assembled them all. So I knew what one was what. I have to look back and figure out what these are. I know what they are, obviously, they're more little guns. But I've got these little bracket things. So I'll have to have a look and see what they're for. And we'll spray them next week as well, I think. Got two of them. Clean that up out of the way. And that. That's about it, I think, for today, but at least that's my uh, tub empty, so that's a good sign. Nothing left in there. All right, so I've got 20 millimeter AA guns. Uh, Ah, oh, great, I see. So these little tiny, tiny ones go on top of these slightly tiny, bigger ones. And it makes it into a four cannon gun. Hmm. So it'll fire four AA guns at once. And then I have, oh my gosh, there's a lot of tiny parts to put on as well. Not on the guns, but on everywhere else. Sadly got to shoot off, build looks great, we'll try to keep in touch better in the future, look after yourself. No problem at all pal, you look after yourself Tim, and uh, I'll see you about for again soon, you know what I mean? Most Saturdays I'm here, so six to seven. So, all good. Thanks for popping by, pal. Happy days. Propellers, friend. Yeah, that's the one, Apple. I knew it was something like that. I nearly called them rotor blades. A little Ardo looks great, though, after last week. With a little clear crop. 
So maybe next week we'll get them sprayed and then we'll carry on working on this little bugger. Because we're going to need to get that little photo etch prop on the end. And uh, the little struts to hold the floats. So we'll maybe try and get some of that done next week. We shall see how it goes. Not a lot done, but there's some done. So that's the main thing. Slowly but surely. We all get there. There we go. <coughs> so, happy days. I don't know if you can see it better on this. Now we're on camera here, but there you go. There it goes across. Bit of light grey there. Mm. It's getting busy on the top there anyway. But we shall keep going by the time it gets a bit of weathering and whatnot and all that carry on. Should be alright. So Right, I'm gonna love you and leave this. It's uh, nearly seven o'clock, gotta shut up the shop and then go and measure for these blinds for the sister in law before I go home. So uh that's it. I'll be back next Saturday six to seven again um i'll put up a thing on youtube tomorrow or something where you can click notify me or whatever and uh hopefully see you all again soon cheers for chatting cheers for popping by thanks for the thumbs up thanks for watching and all that malarkey and uh we'll get there no worries jamie thanks for popping in pal and uh, always good to see a new a new name nothing exciting just me boring at the bench waffling on basically but it is what it is cheers Paul alright guys I'm going to love you and leave you so I've got loads to finish up before I get out of here and uh, I'll see you all soon take care stay safe and uh, see you next week guys bye for now